Hi, my name is Bob Radovich. I'm Director of Solutions Engineering at Double Take Software. And we're going to have a whiteboard session today talking about Double Take for VMware infrastructure, what it is, what it does, how it works, and why customers might want to use it, and also how it compares to things that are built into VMware's uh, virtual infrastructure platform, as well as other products that we offer like Double Take for Virtual Systems. So, I want to st as customers start to consolidate their physical workloads onto or into virtual machines, they have a need to be able to provide protection for those virtual machines just as they did when those uh, workloads were running on a physical server. And so they need the ability to replicate that data uh, to a remote location and be able to recover that virtual machine and the contents of that virtual machine in the event of a disaster. And that's what the Double Take for VMware infrastructure product is really aimed at providing, the ability to replicate entire virtual machines from one location to another. So let's say here that I have a production ESX server. We're going to call it ESX1. And on that ESX server, I might have three virtual machines. Workload 1, Workload 2, and Workload 3. At my disaster recovery site, I might have another ESX server, ESX2. And I will have some you know, disk space associated with it, and I'll have the, the VMware software installed and running in, in this location. Now, previously, if you're used to or familiar with Double Take for Virtual Systems, uh, you know that one way to protect these virtualized workloads would be to load Double Take within each guest operating system and do byte level replication to another virtual machine running at that disaster recovery site. And that's a great solution for very critical workloads running within virtual machines because this gives us the most granular control over replication and it provides us the most automated way to fail over that workload. So I'm doing byte level replication from within the virtual machine of just the data that's changing. For example, if it's a SQL server, I'm just sending the changes to those SQL databases across that WAN link and, and replicating them to another running virtual machine at the disaster recovery site. And so that's, in, in the past, one way that you know, we've talked to customers about providing disaster recovery for virtualized workloads. And, and that is still going to be the, the recommendation that we want to make to customers that need things like granular control over what data needs to be replicated, where they have a lot of change going on within those virtual machines, and so they're going to be sending a lot of data, and we want to do it in the most efficient way possible. And we can do that with double take, with byte level replication, compression, throttling, all those features that, that you're probably very familiar with in terms of double take. Now, for other types of workloads where you maybe don't have a lot of changes, uh, you perhaps uh, don't need real time replication or automated monitoring and failover for, you can leverage the double take for VMware infrastructure product. Now the biggest difference between the Double Take for Virtual Systems product and the Double Take for VMware Infrastructure product is the fact that the Double Take for VMware Infrastructure product runs at the host level. So it's not replicating from within each virtual machine, it's replicating outside of that virtual machine and it's replicating that entire virtual machine over to another ESX server. Now, some of the benefits here are that I don't need to, at this point then, load software into each virtual machine. So it's a little bit easier to deploy and to manage. Since I'm replicating the entire virtual machine, it also means that all of the changes that happen, like changes to the operating system, changes to the application, the entire workload, the OS, the applications, and the data within that virtual machine, get replicated as part of that protection job. So I don't have to worry about applying changes over here and managing a separate virtual machine. It also means that I can protect non-Windows or Red Hat Linux based workloads. So if I have Solaris, for example, or SUSE Linux running within a virtual machine, since I don't have to load software within that virtual machine, I can replicate the contents of it from one location to another and it doesn't matter what operating system is, is running within it. So those are some benefits and why customers might want to use Double Take for VMware infrastructure, usually in conjunction with uh, Double Take for virtual systems. And again, you know, the biggest difference being if you think about the workloads that a customer runs within their environment, they might have their most critical workloads up here, things like you know, SQL or Exchange, where they need real-time replication. They need automated monitoring and failover. And then they might have other workloads in their environment like app servers 
web servers, and, and other applications that you know, they may not need real-time byte-level replication for. They may not need the ability to monitor and automatically fail over the application. They may just need the ability to replicate that entire virtual machine over and bring it up if there's ever a disaster. And that's really um, how I would position the difference between the two products. So Double Take for Virtual Systems is really aimed at that upper tier SQL exchange high availability workload and the Double Take for VMware Infrastructure product is really aimed more at disaster recovery of these second tier applications. And so that's an overview of what Double Take for VMware Infrastructure does, how it works, what some of the benefits are. Um, I want to wrap things up in, the, in this whiteboard session by talking a little bit about how to position Double Take for VMware Infrastructure against or with what is provided as part of the, the VMware Virtual Infrastructure offering. VMware Virtual Infrastructure includes things like vMotion, storage vMotion, distributed resource scheduling, some really cool features that are part of the, the VMware ESX platform. If you think about vMotion, for example, vMotion gives me the ability to, without interrupting the end user or the, the application, move a virtual machine from one ESX server to another. Uh, it happens transparently to the end user. The requirement, though, is that those two ESX servers, in this case they're in different locations, but in the case of vMotion, they would need to be not only in the same location, but connected to the same storage area network, so that the second ESX server could just grab those files, start up that virtual machine, and, and resume uh, servicing the application for the end user. And so vMotion and vMotion, or, or VMware HA, are great solutions for local high availability. If I have a, an ESX server, a physical piece of hardware that has a problem, I can very quickly and easily resume uh, those virtual machines on another physical host at the same location. The Double Take for VMware Infrastructure product that we've talked about is more aimed at disaster recovery, so local availability for vMotion versus disaster recovery and remote availability for Double Take for VMware Infrastructure. It has built into it things like compression, uh, throttling, uh, scheduling for synchronization, those types of features that really lend it, itself very well to a, a, a wide area network environment where you need control over uh, the amount of data that you're sending over the pipe. So uh, hopefully you found today's whiteboard session, the first of hopefully many to come, uh, very informative. And if you have any questions, please email me at uh, browdebush at doubletake.com. Otherwise, I look forward to talking to you during our next session.